what you want. I was gonna fall asleep in there. Can I have a minute? Come to the lounge when you get back to the dorm. I have something to tell everyone. Oh, are we having that talk? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Wow, she didn't waste any time leaving. She's probably busy with things like student council, unlike us. Ooh, Yucatan. Do I sense some hostility? Well, it's not that I don't like her. She's just... Okay, everybody's here. I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Mitsuru and Akihiko were the only Persona users we had. But that number recently jumped to five. Therefore, starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like to commence the exploration of Tartarus. Sorry, I asked this yesterday, but What's this Tartarus thing again? You haven't seen it, Junpei? Hmm? It's no surprise, since it only appears during the dark hour. The dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? And it's the perfect place for us to train. You can think of it as a shadow nest. Whoa! Their nest, huh? But, Senpai, what about your injury? Since Akihiko hasn't fully recovered yet, he'll only come as far as the entrance. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm sure he won't complain, as long as you don't go too far in. Since we're dealing with shadows, Tartarus isn't something we can avoid. Relax, I've got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. As you know, I can't summon a persona. This is it? This is the place? Why here? Just wait a few minutes. It's almost midnight.
This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything returns to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? You don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. Who cares anyway? It's not like it would change our minds about fighting. Well, maybe now we'll find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This'll be our first time exploring it. Exciting, isn't it? There has to be some sort of clue in here about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be accompanying us today. I know, you don't have to remind me. just as cool on the inside. But it sure is creepy. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of the stairs. First we'll have you three get a feel for this place. Why don't you go have a look around? What? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. And I'll be feeding you information from here. So you two didn't plan on coming in the first place? That's right. We're also going to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. For real? One of us? Oh, oh, me, 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 pick me! Uh, you're in charge. Wait, wait, why him? He doesn't look like a leader. But he has fought them before. Seriously? That's true, but there's another reason. You two. Can you summon your persona without any difficulties like he can? Yeah, of course I can. I think so. These are shadows we're talking about here. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Ah, uh, regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It's like the number zero. It's empty, but at the same time holds infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them as needed. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. My spare time will soon be scarce. 
But please, come again of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until then, farewell. Hey, are you alright? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? <laughs> Man, are you loco? Have you been nodding off? You seem kind of out of it. Dude, you're supposed to be our leader. Get your head in the game. Come on, let's go. So, this is it, huh? I hope I don't get lost. Can you all hear me? Whoa, is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Wait, y you mean you can see inside here? It's my persona's ability. I'd like to join you, but the structure of Tartarus changes from day to day. That's why outside support is imperative. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any minute. They shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. Practice makes perfect. Right! Got it. Why is she always like that? Takeda has informed me about your power, but nevertheless, you have minimal combat experience. Would you like me to explain the basics of battle? The primary offensive options available to you in battle are attack and skill. Attack corresponds to the weapon you've equipped, while skill relates to your persona's abilities. Though skills consume either stamina or spiritual power, they tend to have a greater effect. Use whichever option best suits the situation. Keep attacking until you've defeated the enemy, but pay careful attention to your stamina. That's it for now. Did you get all that? Okay, then I want you to defeat the enemy before you. Try using both the skill and attack options. Drop the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a- What a stunning victory!
now's a good time for me to explain about attack properties, which are important to consider during battle. Do you want to know more? Nearly every type of attack is associated with a particular property. For example, swords can be used to do slash attacks, while bows are used to do pierce attacks. Skills, on the other hand, have different properties. Bufu, for instance, indicates an ice attack. Now, most enemies are vulnerable to certain types of attacks. In other words, they have weaknesses. A fire skill will deal greater damage to an enemy that's weak against fire. With my power, I can analyze an enemy to determine its weaknesses and strengths. That falls under tactics. You follow? The enemies you're facing have a weakness that you can exploit. Why don't you give it a try? the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him. Get back here, you son of a... A complete victory. Great job. to exploit the enemy's weakness in the last battle. If you didn't already notice, doing so will also grant you an additional attack. Would you like more details? An enemy will lose its balance if you exploit its weakness or land a critical hit. This will give you the opportunity to perform an additional action. In other words, you'll get to do one more thing. You can keep attacking the same enemy, or if you prefer, attack a different target. And if you succeed in knocking another enemy off balance, then you can act yet again. Which means, you can remain on the offensive for as long as you can keep this up. This strategy is essential to securing victory. However, remember this. An enemy that's already lost its balance cannot be knocked off balance again. You can't knock down someone who's lying on the ground, right? It's the same idea. Now, to knock an enemy off balance, you need to know its weaknesses. So don't hesitate to ask me for an analysis. I'll be sure to share the results with the others as well. Got it? Then proceed with the battle. Use what you've learned to quickly dispose of the enemy. You attacked the enemy's One weak more. point. Enemy is vulnerable. Nice. Attack! You attacked the enemy's weak point. Here's a chance. Let's get him! Get back here, you son of a- Keep up the good work. has increased.
There is a better way to defeat all of your enemies in battle than to attack them individually. You can perform an all-out attack. Would you care to hear more about this? When enemies are thrown off balance, they become vulnerable. An all-out attack will allow your entire team to attack simultaneously. Your enemies will be unable to defend against it. It's a very reliable method of attack. Whether or not you want to perform an all-out attack is up to you. But remember, you cannot perform it when you're alone. So if you want to have it in your arsenal, make sure your team is comprised of at least two members. That's all you need to know about all-out attacks. Do you understand what I've just explained to you? Then, that concludes the basics of battle. But there's one last thing I need to tell you. Shadows become stronger the further you advance. If you don't think you can win a battle, retreat at once. There may be times, however, when an escape will be impossible. This battle is one of those times. Good luck. You struck the enemy's awesome. weak point. You attacked the enemy's weak point. Get him! Struck the enemy's weak One point. more! The enemy is vulnerable. Keep going. Here's our chance for an all out attack! Keep up the good work. has increased. Ta -da -da -da! I'm the man. Everyone, spread out and proceed individually. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow, I never knew I had that kind of power. We kicked some ass. But damn, I'm beat. That's because you were bouncing around like a little kid. Yeah, you look pretty tired yourself, Yucatan. I'm still trying to catch my breath, actually. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry, though. You'll adapt. But I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that.